Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. And guys, I am here doing the monthly zodiacs. Um, I do them the first of every month and the 15th or around the middle of each month. And um, we're going to be taking a look at finances and career. And then we're going to be taking a look at love and romance. And guys, I do have an announcement. I'm going to make a separate video. So if you um, have your uh, announcements, uh, the wiggly bell clicked, you will get that. Make sure you go and watch it because I have been inspired by spirit to create a community um, for my people. And uh, I do believe that, you know, my mission is a unique mission. Mission. Not that there aren't other oracles doing what I do. It's just um, I do believe that there are certain souls that incarnated at this time to be part of my spirit team. Um, and we have mission work to do. So I am creating a community where you guys can join if you want. I don't want to take up too much time in the announcements talking about it here, but I will create a video on it. It's going to be a Patreon account. There will be three tiers so everybody can join in, no matter you know what your financial status looks like. Um, there will be different perks to each tier. Um, like I said, I don't want to go into it too deeply here. I'm going to do a separate video about it. Uh, but make sure that you check out that video when it goes up. If you're interested in joining the Patreon account, I'm going to launch it a couple of days before the first. Um, today's video, I will be creating an extended version for my VIP tier. Um, so, you know, we're going to have to have content, right? If we're going to have a Patreon account, we have to have content. So if you join the VIP, which is the top tier, you get an all access pass to all extended videos. Um, courses that I'm going to create um, will be free to anybody. Not really free because you join a membership, but you know what I mean. Um, to anybody in the VIP, I'm going to do tarot. We're going to do... Um, Probably I would like to get some guests, you know, and do some collaborations. I've got a friend that's into astrology. You know who you are. But I would like to just do, do some fun stuff. And so check it out. I will talk more about it in an extensive video um, introducing the Patreon. Just keep an eye out for it. Also, I am so grateful for all of you, each and every one of you. You know who you are. Um, I get a lot of of interaction for people that are seeking help and guidance on their own journey and they reach out and get their private or private readings um that supports me and my son and so in gratitude it's not really a contest it's just a drawing to give back i love you guys so much so if you've supported me um between May 15th and June 30th, if you order your own personal private reading uh, to get clarity or a deep dive to work on your spiritual energetic patterns, your Akashic records, your uh, ancestral patterning, um, we work on trauma bonds and karmic release, um, all kinds of stuff. If you're interested in that and you would like to support me and get support from me, book your own personal reading between now actually May 15th and June 30th, and you will be entered into a contest to win all kinds of stuff. I got a tarot deck, an oracle deck, a crystal, a tarot class, which is going to be the class that I will be teaching um, in the, the VIP Ascension Patreon tier. It's all new lingo to me. I got to learn it, right? Um, anyhow, that will all be available uh, as a special giveaway to you guys. So go check it out. There will also be a 20-minute private reading, including in that giveaway. So you purchase a reading, you, you get entered into the drawing to get a thank you, thank you package from me. And it's going to be extensive. It's going to come with a lot of cool stuff. So I love you. Let's get into this, shall we? This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And once again, I just want to remind you, I'm going to create an extended version of this. Um, if you want to be able to purchase 
um, the extended version, then join my Patreon account, which will be launching probably in the next couple of days. I'm going to launch it. And then all of these videos will be accessible um, the moment you join. OK, the reason why I'm holding off on launching it is because they charge on the first of the month. I don't want you guys to get charged on today, which is the 23rd, and then have to turn around and pay again for for the Patreon membership fee on the first. So I'll probably launch on the first. But all of these extended versions to uh, the month of June tarot readings will be available to those who join the VIP pass. OK, gosh, let's bring you down. All right, <clears throat> Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, and of course, Cross Watchers, if you're here to check up on your uh, Gemini person, just know that Spirit knows it's you watching and the, the energies might be geared toward you as well as them. All right, so this is finances and career. Um, I decided we're not going as deeply as we usually do because I'm doing ex extended versions, but I want my free content to be very thorough also, okay? So the bottom of the deck for the month of June is the Queen of Swords, fairness, okay? So there's some balance that's coming into your finances in the month of June is what I see. Okay, some equality, what you've been putting out, you're liable to be receiving because it is a karmic return. So let's just take a look at all three of your tarot. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so I really like this, guys. We have the Ten of Swords. This is a painful ending, okay? Now, this is not the part that I like, but you know what I really like about endings is new beginnings. And you've got the Ace of Cups. And so what I think is going on, you guys know that I read from a spiritual point of view. So let's take it to the 3D first, all right? Let's take a look at what is spirit trying to tell you is going to happen in your finances and career in the month of June, all right? Well, I see that there has been some sort of an imbalance, okay, an unfairness. Maybe you... Um, we're working too many hours and not getting enough compensation. Or uh, maybe you quit a job because it wasn't fulfilling all of your needs. Or maybe you got laid off permanently. Uh, maybe your unemployment is ending. I have been seeing some notices come up on my phone about unemployment, um, uh, the extended unemployment, like that extra $300, I think it was, um, is coming to an end in a lot of states. Uh, so... It could be that, 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 that is this Ten of Swords. But there's some kind of an ending that's going to be abrupt and, and probably a little scary with the Ten of Swords. It's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? How am I going to feed the family? How am I going to keep a roof over my head? How am I going to pay my bills? You know, this is a really stressful feeling of, of an ending, okay? But it's being done for you. It's going to balance things out. It's going to give you an opportunity to create something better, okay? To take a leap of faith towards something that you've always loved to do. Okay, Ace of Cups for me is self-love. Uh, the Two of Cups is usually shared partnership um, in things that, that are emotionally fulfilling, okay? It doesn't have to be love, but it has to be emotionally fulfilling, and so what I see here is the end of something that probably was not emotional feeling, fulfilling and the beginning or an opportunity, because the fool is always an opportunity. You have to take that leap of faith. You have to. You got to be willing to um, take a risk, you know, whether it, it feels uh, good or not. I mean, you got to take a risk, right? You got to take a risk. And so... Another thing I'm picking up from this, okay, is when it comes to self-love, I've noticed myself. Now, maybe you guys don't resonate with this, but I have had a huge glow up over the last two years. I got divorced. I moved out on my own. I started with nothing. I had me and my 11-year-old son. We had no beds. We had one dresser. You know, we had very little. Let's just put it that way. And we had to start all over again. Now my house is so full of stuff. I need to have a garage sale. But I didn't love myself. 
I wasn't happy with the choices I had made. I didn't have self-confidence. Um, I didn't believe that I was loved and supported by the universe. I was in lack mentality. You know, it was, um, I never, I didn't think I could make a lot of money because I never had. I mean, it was, I've always had blessings, but I never really had had that security of knowing that everything I needed was going to be fulfilled and given to me, right? Or or earned, of course. But self-love is so important when it comes to your finances. And I didn't realize that until the last two years. The more I learned to love myself, the more I learned to um, express myself, right? To say things that I had been holding in. I had to clear out my garden. I had to get rid of everything I didn't want. Okay. We got to stop bitching and moaning about things we don't like in our life and just stop giving them energy. Stop feeding them. Okay. Seriously, guys, it's time to release. It is eclipse season. And if you're the only glue holding something together and it's not supporting you or loving you back, it's time for you to love yourself enough to let it go. Let it die. Let it, you know, take its last breath. Learn from it. Ask the universe, what was the lesson? Integrate the lesson and then move. Take a move towards something you love to do. We're moving toward the fifth dimension, guys. This is higher vibrational energy. <clears throat> the old institutions are going to crumble. But before they can crumble, we have to have way showers. We have to have people who are creative, who are um, willing to take a risk to create something that they love to do that's going to be in service to humanity, right? We need the newness that needs to come after the fall. And so spirit's holding back this fall because we need a foundation. All right, so what I see happening for you, Gemini, that was the 5D version. The 3D version is love yourself enough to know that you are valuable. What you bring to the table is worth having and stop taking less than what you deserve. Let that belief system die. And then you're going to be able to take a risk, take a leap of faith to create something better for yourself. So if you need to quit a job, quit the job. I know everybody says, but Tracy, how do you do that? You know what? Um, what is that saying? Necessity is the mother of all creation. Is that it? Ne necessity is the mother of all creation. Absolutely. How many times I mean, if God just came in and took that job away from you today and just said, you don't get a choice, okay? I'm not going to let you give your two weeks notice and look for another job. I'm just going to rip the rug right out from under your feet. Well, then that is going to inspire you to finally take a risk. It's like, I've got nothing to lose. I need this. I need to do this. It's time. It's time. It's time. So this is the energy I'm feeling for you in the month of June. It could be very scary. It could be, um, it could be controlled by the universe or it could be controlled by you. But either way, I see a bright new beginning coming. Don't be afraid of endings, especially in eclipse season. Endings are blessings in disguise. Okay. It creates energetic space for something much better to come in. If you know your value, know your worth, know your worth. If you want something fair in your life, you're going to have to accept nothing less. You're just going to have to learn to say no to what you don't want to experience and, and absolutely create and say yes to everything that you do. So let's get you some advice on this. Ooh, and you know, I saw this, guys. I absolutely saw this. And look, you've got to be fair again. So you've got fairness. I love the way spirit speaks. I just absolutely love it. You've got fairness here. Look at the scales, okay? And you've got to be fair here. And it's so funny because I was asking about uh, finances. But you know what? Our romantic life sometimes has everything to do with our finances. So if you are trying to create something uh, 
with a new, like a new partner, a new lover, or gosh, I don't know, but you got romance right here in your finances. And then you got imagination. I revel in the wondrous, mysterious, most beauteous power of my imagination. And I let it whisk me away on a right brained romp through all things nonsensical. Seuss plus Wonka style. I am an off-road adventurer, the fool, playing in the upside down, glow in the dark woods of possibility. There is no no here, only woe and flow and holy moly, here we go. Hmm, was there something in that brownie? You can pause the video if you want to read that yourself. Okay, so I seen this, you know, I, I'm curious to see now what your love and romance says, but it could be a painful ending uh, that affects your, your finances, right? I got divorced. That really you know, affected my finances. And, but in that going back to nothing, in that losing um, all the, the ground and stability, I mean, I had bought a home, we had property. Uh, I left it all. I didn't want to fight and quibble over you know, what he got versus what I got. I didn't want him fighting. I didn't want any of the drama. I just said, you know what? I created this, most of it, with very little help from him. And I thought, you know, just let him have it. I will create something else. And I did. And that could very well be what's happening here with this romance card. You guys could very well have um, gone through some kind of an ending in a relationship that affected you in your finances, right? And in your stability, in your core root chakra. And, and although it might have been painful and, and frightening, it was exactly what you needed to bring in this brand new beginning in love, right? And when you start loving yourself, then you start calling in abundance, abundance in love, abundance in finances. Um, this is really good. I want to see. Okay, so now we're going to move over to your love and romance because I need to know. So bottom of the deck energy in your love and romance for the month of June, Gemini, is communication. Yeah. All right, so let's take a look here. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so what I'm seeing is empress energy, okay? It doesn't matter if you're a masculine or a feminine, you know? Empress energy is the divine feminine which resides in all of us, okay? But I feel like for pile, or for, I almost said pile number one, for Geminis, for the month of June, what I see is this huge glow up, this self-love, right there, nurturing yourself, loving yourself, being in your power, being in the flow of abundance, creating new things, right? She is the mother of creation. Everything that manifests in the 3D realm is birthed through the empress, okay? And then we have the wheel of fortune, guys. This was destined, destined. Endings had to happen, okay? It, whether it was in your job, your career, your, you know, a divorce or a long-term relationship, you'll know, okay? Because these are, these are definitely bleeding into one another. But your sense of self-worth, your finances are directly linked to your sense of self-worth. If you don't feel worthy of abundance, Empress Energy, then you cannot create abundance. This self-love had to happen. This ending had to happen. You know, everything goes until everything new gets reborn. So the wheel of fortune is now turning in your favor because I believe you took a leap of faith. You ended something that didn't serve you anymore. And from that, you have learned to love yourself. You've learned to take risks. You've, this could be a romance with yourself, self-love. This is beautiful. It doesn't have to be romance with another person, but this is the wheel of fortune. The moment I started nurturing myself, 
loving myself, setting healthy boundaries, getting rid of friendships and relationships that that just didn't value me. They didn't value me. They didn't see everything that I was doing to love them and to nurture them and to try to be, you know, anyhow, I'm not going to go down that road, but just love yourself. Love yourself. If those people are meant to be in your life, they'll come back around, right? And they'll come back around showing you, not telling you. They'll come back around showing you. So Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. That's going to affect your finances, guys, just so you know. And this is communication, right? Ooh, and there's stuff under here that we're going to do in the extended. I'm going to take a look. Oh, there's so much more under the deck here that we're going to take a look at in the extended version for you. So if you're interested, you might want to check out my Patreon when I launch it, probably late the, the night before the first. OK, then you've got the page of cups. Ooh la la. See, you got the ace of cups. You got the page of cups. This is where that communication comes in. Right. This is that apology. Or, um, hi, how you doing? I've always liked you. Can we talk? You know, this is, it's not the two of cups. And it's obviously not, you know, the, the nine of cups or the ten of cups. But this is beautiful energy. This is a brand new beginning. And I can see it right here. Something has to end. Okay. So if it hasn't yet, eclipse season is going to take care of it. Absolutely. Spirit's going to take care of it because you got the wheel of fortune here and the wheel of fortune. If you're not brave enough to do it on your own, sometimes the wheel of fortune will come in and turn the wheel for you. Right. And, and we'll take a look because I'm seeing some stuff going down. I'm just saying. OK, so let's take a look at your oracles. This is beautiful. So in the month of June, you've got brand new beginnings in love. It could be with another human being, which I hope it is for you, or it could be self-love romance. It's like learning to nurture you being that empress. You know, I'm hearing that song. <clears throat> oh, what is it? Is it Lizzie? I can't think of her name, but it says, I'll do my hair, child, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Feeling good as hell. Is it Lizzie? Check that out because that's what you need to do. You need to feel good as hell. You need to get rid of things that no longer serve you. And, you know, and you're, when you start clearing out your, your closet, making room, especially during, uh, eclipses and the universe sees your intent. Make sure you set your intentions. I'm not going to cry over this 10 of swords. No, I'm going to create with the Empress, my own fortune and possibly love. Okay. A new romantic interest, a new, you know, a, a new person for some of you, for others of you, this is self-love. So we have ooh, a leg up. Absolutely. When you start loving yourself, the universe gives you a leg up, right? My finances have probably quadrupled. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm so abundant compared to what I used to be. Got a lot of room for growth and I am absolutely manifesting that, right? But the universe will give you a leg up and possibly you could meet somebody too, it's a number seven. Sevens are very, you know, spiritually driven, expansive numbers. Sorry, guys, I needed a drink. So what else do we have? Positive outcome. You guys are going to have to apply this in your, you know, because if you're dating somebody and maybe haven't been talking, maybe you, you know, are, are standing in your power, you're saying, you know, these behaviors from the past, I won't tolerate anymore. I'm, I'm better than that. I deserve better than that. And because of your new belief system around who you are, you could be absolutely manifesting a, a reconciliation, conversation, a text or a phone call, positive movement forward, right? Um, you're going to get a leg up because we have positive outcome. There is hope. Don't give up now. 
have faith, trust the forces of love, are at work behind the scenes, expect a joyous and positive outcome. Guys, I love your reading. I want to be a Gemini. Ooh, and we have chemistry. It says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. And what happens when you are the empress? You don't chase, you attract, guys. You attract. So loving yourself is going to attract the strong chemistry between you and hopefully another person as well as yourself. I want to see both in your life. All right. Oh, rejection. The rejection, this rejection is actually divine protection. I think this goes with that Ten of Swords. Okay, so think for a moment. Where do you feel rejection? Heal it and let it go. Rejection is um, born of a thought process or belief system around not being good enough, not being worthy. When you show yourself rejection, you will manifest that externally in your external environment. I think this has more to do with a belief system that needs to end, right? And if there is a rejection, if there was an ending to something, it's going to create space with the uh, eclipse season. It's going to create space for something beautiful to come in. A distant kiss in a prayer flag. I wish of all wishes that you were here through sunlight and rain. I need you near. So you're manifesting. You're manifesting. You're manifesting. And why? Because something's about to either leave your life or something already has. And that's creating space for you to create moving forward. With the Wheel of Fortune, I really do feel great things going for you, Gemini. And we're going to go into the extended now. I'm going to uh, shut this one down and tell you how much I love you. If you're interested in getting every single extended that I ever upload, uh, make sure that when it goes, uh, when it's launched and it's going to be launched, because this is June energy, so you're not missing nothing. I'm going to have them all done and ready for viewing for those who join the Patreon account at the VIP level. Okay. I love you guys. Namaste.